Okay. All right. So this John Eric Zoom, um, he he apparently got a message that was from a networks distributor because he posted it and it said, "Hey girl, wondered if you wanted to be a product tester." Blah blah blah. It was like super generic. It was hilarious. So the um, whole the whole um, Periscope, he was like making fun of this "Hey girl" phrase. Um, but his first tip was he said he had done some like nerdy research that showed they like did brain scans and showed where what people read that make their brains like excited and happy. And one of the things that makes people excited and happy is when you use their name. So he suggest he suggested instead of saying like hey or hey girl or you know not saying their name to actually use their name in a message because that will like tr trigger the happiness whatever sections of the brain. Um, and he, he also suggested one, one point B was to spell it correctly. So I'm like, well, that's smart considering it's like, should be right above your message in the title. So yeah. <laughs> um, he also said to use emojis in the beginning, which I think we've talked about in past zooms. Mm -hmm. um, but he said, you know, just scrolling through his list of me messages, his eyes always caught um, to the ones that have an emoji in the beginning. So, um, and I've done that actually and gotten responses from people that have been ignoring me. If I do like four or five emo emojis right away in the beginning and then I just like say, Hey Jill, how's it going? So I don't mention anything about the business at all. That way she can't actually see that I'm talking about the business because she, if she doesn't open it, cause it just has em emo emojis and Hey girl. So that was number two. Um, number three, I didn't really think applied to us all that much but he said that you can actually use that messenger to receive payment. So if you were like at the store and sold a wrap to someone and didn't have like a square reader or whatever else, they can become friends with you on Facebook and then via Facebook me messenger send you the $25 for the wrap. Hmm. And you just have to like, it'll like give you 20, 24 hours to link your debit card or credit card or whatever. So it'll do payments that way. So I thought that was interesting. Um, the other one, the, the last two, he said, um, he's been doing a lot of work for Periscope, Facebook, met, like messenger and everything. And he said, really text like words in a message or on the way out. It's all about videos, voice recording, pictures, and all of that sort of stuff. So he said, send, um, pictures and videos in me me messenger over text if you can. And I've actually been playing around with doing the voice recording thing. And that's been somewhat successful to getting people who are not even opening my stuff to start opening it up. Now they're not always responding, but sometimes they are. And I think they can hear like my excitement or like my tone of voice. So I think that's been helpful with the voice recording. I have not sent a video yet. Um, but it's something that I'm certainly thinking about doing. And the last one, for the last two, I guess there's six. Um, he said that it works on Instagram and Facebook. If you just go to like a comment box in Instagram or Facebook and you make the at symbol and you use like the letter A or you do letter B or whatever, the most recently engaged people will pop up. So for Facebook, I went and I did this and I did like at A and all of like the top five A names popped up and I knew I knew that these people were already engaging with me. They're like liking my posts or they're commenting or whatever. I have not tried it on Instagram, but I think it's going to be interesting on Instagram because I don't know those people. So it's going to be able to see, I'm going to be, be able to see like who my interested, who my followers are. Um, and then I can start interacting with those pe people more intentionally. I have like 900 followers on Instagram and I have no clue sometimes like, who to reach out to or who to comment on or who to be like interacting with because there's just, it's overwhelming. So I think this is a really good tip for that, um, platform. Mm -hmm. Um, and then he said, and I didn't realize this and I haven't tried it yet. And I meant to today, uh, instead of doing, if you're on like a laptop or desktop, instead of doing, um, your met, messages through facebook.com you can actually go to messenger.com and it looks just like the app on your phone okay so it's a little bit more user friendly if all you're doing is like sending a message or a ser searching a message so that's something nice to do um he mentioned and i thought this was interesting um i know that i do save posts a lot 
So I find something that somebody posted and I think it's really good. I'm going to save it for another day. So I like click on that upper arrow, like the down arrow and I go to save post, and then it shows up in this list of save posts. Um, so sometimes if I'm super busy, I'll go in there, copy and pa paste it into my status. Cause it was like three weeks ago that someone had posted it. But he said that Facebook has an algorithm that can tell when you're doing that and it will decrease the um, amount of people that can view that post for you. Okay. So he said it's best to somewhat adjust like a word here and there, add some emojis, check the spelling, to do something to make the post look original to you and then, and then Facebook won't flag that as a um, copied post. And he said the same thing will go with a, a message as well. He said if you're copying and pa pasting to message like 20 people the same thing about being a product tester or whatever, he said you can also get put in like Facebook jail for doing that in a, in a message, which I didn't realize. So that was good to know too. And I saved the best for last. So if you go on your phone to um, the me messenger app, do you have it on your phone or not? Yes, I do. Okay. So if you go on your phone to the, the app and you're going to send someone a message, if you go like, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. Oh, of course not. Mm, not a chance. I see lots of white. <laughs> yeah. So there, there's like the little bar that has like the camera button, the emote, like the sticker button, the voice recording button. If you go hit the three little dots, um, it should be the very far right. Mm -hmm. It gives you like a whole bunch of platforms that are linked to my messenger that you can download. So he, the two that like I downloaded Bitmoji, which will make like a little emoji person that looks like you and you can like search different things and send it as a sticker. Um, but the two that he recommended are called Diddy, D-I-T-T-Y, which you can type in a me message and then it'll like auto tune it to a song and you can add a video in the background. It's hilarious. I had so oh. much with it last night. So Diddy was on and then the, the other one is Clip Dis, C-L-I-P-D-I-S. Um, and what this one does is I, you do the same thing. Like you type, type in a short me message, like, did you buy the bananas at the store? And it'll find video clips of people saying those actual words and like smash them together. It's so funny. I have been sending them like all day to people. <laughs> so he said, he said that it's a really great way to like make your interactions more humorous or, you know, per personable if you're doing stuff like, Hey, are you ignoring me? But it's like a mashup of different people saying it, you know, clips <laughs> and videos or whatever. So you have to try them. They're just, they're so funny. Um, so those were his tips. Okay. I thought it was pretty helpful. I certainly have been having fun with the last two. So, <laughs> um,